uh, Marty Bentler. I'm from uh, Iowa in the United States. Um, I have a taxi. Well, the first symptoms were like my handwriting was not ever progressing fast like the other people. Um, and my walking backwards was really starting to be noticeable. So I um, went to a neurologist back home and he uh, um, pretty much said that I have taxia but they didn't have anything for it, no drugs or anything like that. So pretty well been living without any help or just making the best of it for 20 years. It really wasn't noticeably progressing until probably the last two years. Um, that's when I noticed that, you know, I was getting tired a lot earlier in day, I mean like around three o'clock in the afternoon. Like when I was walking, I noticed that um, I'd be dragging my foot a lot more because um, just didn't have the energy to pick them up. As far as, you know, um, doing much like office work and stuff on computer and um, you know, uh, and especially like going up and down steps, you know, in an office building, I pretty well re ruled that out. I mean, this, back in the States, they pretty well gave up on me. I mean, because every year when I, I would have to call them and make an appointment for a checkup and stuff. They, they were only concerned when there was like a new treatment option available or a new test that they want me to have done. My cousin took, brought his daughter here um, like six months ago and they had really good improvements in her abilities and stuff. I, I got in contact with Matt Unger, your patient, senior patient representative, and talked to him and everything and read some, some of the patient experiences and decided that, you know, this was the best thing for me. So. But I knew that when I agreed to come here that every patient receives different um, different uh, oh, what am I? results and what you get is what you get. So and that was fine by me because as long as you get something, I mean, something's better than nothing and they weren't doing anything in the States for me. They didn't guarantee anything. Um, they, they made it clear that nothing's a guarantee. There's no cure um, and I understood that fully. Um, yeah, like I said, what you get is what you get. I mean, but at least it's worth a shot. I mean, and I'm I'm happy with what I've gotten so far. And there's still 11 months or whatever, you know, of therapy on my own. I'm one of the first patients here in Shanghai, but Shanghai at first was really overwhelming because I'm from a rural town in Iowa, and I mean, where, well, I mean, my yard is bigger than this hospital. And you get here, and it's all 27-story buildings. And But now that, I mean, we've been here a month, and we, we're comfortable walking the streets and stuff like that, so. Um, and everybody, the staff here has been really great. So, I mean, it, it, there hasn't been a bad experience here at all. Well, I, my first, first stem cell was through an IV, and then the next five were through lumbar injections. And 
I didn't have any problem with any of them. But the big thing is you got to lay still for six hours. Um, I mean, you can't raise your head. You can't do anything. But it's, I mean, it's only six hours. <laughs> I have uh, occupational th therapy, physical therapy, uh, acupuncture, and massage. Um, and they're all do doing really good. There was no athletic sports or any like riding bike or anything with coordination or balance that took a head. I mean, I, I, I could walk, I mean, on pretty much level grounds on grounds where you don't have to pick your feet up all the time. Oh, real high. Um, there was like no, no jogging, no hopping or anything like that. Um, and I used to, like when I was in high school, I used to do all that stuff. And to not be able to do anything is, it's kind of different. All the sidewalks here are pavers. So it's a little bit different than walking on smooth concrete. Um, and that would have been a little more difficult before because it's all uneven a little bit, but I have no problem with it now. So I, I can tell just by walking around that I, I walk more fluidly and I don't drag my feet, um, which is really nice. Um, and people I've talked to back home, just on the computer, they can say they can already tell there's diff, a noticeable difference in my speech that it's more fluid. I'm not like, you know, trying so hard to say the right things, making so much of an effort. I, well, I would definitely like strongly try to persuade them to come to China. Um, yeah, because I, I don't think they're, I just don't think they're gonna have a chance, say with just prescription drugs, um, like whether it be in the States or wherever. Um, so yeah, I, I'd come to China again in heartbeat.